Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to another episode in our Congo run. A uh, couple of things before we continue. As you can maybe hear, I am in a different room and there is still a lot of echo in here. So I'm sorry for the upcoming episodes. I still need to fix this. So there will be a bit of a echo background in my voice. Um, I will try to solve this with some decorating stuff on the walls, but for now we have to deal with it. And there was another thing. I now know why we cannot make trade companies here, because it is all depending on the subcontinent. Everything that is of the subcontinent Southern Africa, as you can see in this tooltip, uh, we cannot build any trade companies. So here we can, this is Northern Africa, there we could click it. Um, but yeah, over here, this is also Southern Africa, all of this, this as well, and here starts Northern Africa in Mogadishu. So we can make this trade companies, but uh, East Africa, Central Africa, Congo and South Africa is not possible. The rest we can do, and I will. So uh, thanks for those, um, those tips in the reactions tab, it really helped me. Now, it's also a new recording session, so I think we were going after this region over here. Uh, let's have a look here. I was claiming Benin, yes, also that's gonna happen at some point first needs access to it. We are colonizing the Cape because we really want to go over here. Uh, let me just make this a trade company immediately actually. We also check it over here. And add every province to the trade company in Ivory Coast. I wonder which they added next to this, to this one actually. Oh this one I guess, yeah. That's completely fine. So. The other, this trade node, this one, this one, and this one, and this one is not possible, but Ethiopia trade node, later on, we could make it into a trade company, and I think I will. Okay. Great Britain is uh, colonizing, and we are trying to reach the new world, because we want to get uh, colonialism. It spawned in Porto, and someone told me in the reaction step that Portugal is uh, in a personal union with Castile. Yeah, Portugal is under a union with Castile, so they are getting pretty strong. Yikes. Uh, we still need to annex you at some point. But I don't think we are going to do it now. Uh, Technology-wise, we are catching up. I still need to take care of my governing capacity by building courthouses and stuff. Oh yeah, and we are trying to do the Mani mission. Uh, the Mani mission... They need loyalty 50 or greater, and I think they will get there now, right? Yes, so when we reach that one, we can click the button. Um, so yeah, we need uh, contact with the Europeans. And then we become a monarchy, apparently. Alright. That's fine, because now we are a tribal kingdom. Does that really matter? Not really, I think. Okay, uh, let's unpause the game, see if something happens. No, uh, we are at the manpower cap. I think we were going to war with Malindi or... What was the deal? And Adal. Yeah. We are walking our army up there and then we declare the war. Uh, you can come home. Let's improve with the Europeans when we find them. Maybe it will help them to not attack us. Which would be really good. You are doing rebel stamping duty. And we have some rebel stamping army there, yeah, for the natives. Alright. So yeah, once again, I hope that my microphone is uh, going to hold. Uh, there's also a chance that it go it's going to cut out. I hope I will detect it. But uh, sorry in advance if my microphone stops, because I had some problems today with it. All because of the new setup. Always horrible. Uh, you are also... Yeah, we will also attack Ajuran, because they are free. Uh, I would not like these ones to protect the trade node when I'm at war. You guys are fine, I think. Now nah, let's just go into the dock. Let's just go into the dock there. Now, let's go to war here. Take this province. Yeah, this is really the, the border, right? Yeah. So the trade node is also the border of south and north, north, except for a couple of these provinces. 
No, this is just south. This province we don't know. But it's part of a different trade node, so that's uh, interesting. We have three cannons. We don't have siege pips. Um, we should build another cannon here. So we can siege just a little bit faster. I think we are good to go. Uh, is there anything else I forgot to do? I don't think so. That's the nice thing about streaming live, then the audience can help you, right? You guys, but I think I did everything. We take this and then we take all of Ajuran. I mean, they are losing the war, which is pretty annoying. But we just declare it. How quickly are you colonizing? 30 a year. I have 40. Maybe we should take the cape very quickly before it is gone. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, these ones are not the best provinces, but the cape is very, very important to have. The only thing that you want from the trade note. Uh, where are my colonies? Here's one. Here. If I start another colony, it's going to cost how much? I will just keep an eye out for this one. If uh, this finishes, I will quickly to the Cape, go to the Cape. I don't want anyone else to get the Cape. You are going to Melindy. I will stack wipe that army by doing so. Wait for the lock and then uh, attack it. Uh, we're also building some buildings still. I think I built all the marketplaces that I want. Production buildings, I think I got all of these. Oh, that's a good bar good barracks. Yeah. Okay, was that your whole army? No. There's still an army running around, apparently. Over here. Let's wait for him to be landlocked and try to 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 to, to kill this stack, small stack here before it's doing annoying things. There we go, it's landlocked and I will move backwards after the battle. There's the cannon. Nice, we have the siege. Now we know that Adal is in this war. Um, and we cannot really reach Adal. But I can just declare Ajuran and just go for... What's over here, right? Let's go. Can I see this from Mogadishu? I don't think I can. I think there's nothing else for us to uh, to siege, unfortunately. I mean, I would just kill the army so that Mogadishu can quickly uh, peace out. Do we have cores on Mogadishu? No. So we can actually start building a spy network here. Uh, there. Because I think they're going to win the war and take a lot of provinces. It's some more cores here. Uh, we can state it, but we are over a state limit, so I think I will not do this. And on the other hand, we can maybe get some cultures accepted. The Shona culture is over here, I guess. Yeah, the gold mines. Now, it doesn't matter for our gold income. Uh, when you have a culture that is not accepted, you get just a bit more unrest, you get less taxation, uh, less manpower and sailors, but that's it. So we get the full gold out of these provinces. Yeah. There's no accepted culture bonus for production, so we don't really have to make it accepted. Alright, let us uh, put some carpet sieges down in case the AI is going to uh, peace out Ajuran. Uh, come back from Portugal then. I guess we cannot improve with Castile. Oh, we can. We can also take our idea. We can finish exploration ideas and I think I will. We also get innovativeness from it. Yeah, let's take it. 
There we go. That was our exploration ideas. Uh, do we want to focus on something else? Why do I have so... Oh, shoot. I'm still using vortexes. Luckily, I saw this in time. 11 years later, but... Yeah, that button is really annoying. Yeah, we have plenty of military power, so we don't want to focus on military power. I think we're just going to catch up in uh, Diplo power for now. And then when we get our next idea group, we will decide again. Okay, there's nothing over here. Uh, let's just see what's over here. We need to explore this region. Uh, we can build a conquistador. Ugh. They go a little bit quicker through this uh, fog of war, right? Conquistadors. Okay, ghost is getting attacked again. Now, stay there, I guess, for now. War of Obscurantism, that's not, not a big deal. Let's uh, explore all of this. And Adjuran, you should really peace out. Can I take this already? No. No, we are still running around. We have a small army. I'm not going to peace you out, Dutchie. No. Okay. Well, then I will come back for you later. At least we can see everything here. Uh, let's maybe siege down Adal. Because this way we can uh, peace out quicker. Could still use someone with a lot of cores here and, f and vessel feed it. But who is having a lot? Maybe Adal. It looks like Ethiopia is becoming something. See what's over there. I keep this money for the courthouses and stuff. We need to uh, use the money for buildings that is actually useful. There we go. Mogadishu pieced out, and that means that Ajuran is only one province left. Yes. Well, I will take it. We cannot core this province right now, but we do have a marketplace and a level 1. Uh, but we can actually upgrade this one pretty soon. Now, all these armies need to run back. And then we have to declare war on Mogadishu. Mogadishu and Marahan. Now, should I maybe just vassalize you? You do have cores around you. I think I'm gonna vassal feed someone over here. It's a bit risky what I'm doing with 9000, but they have no army left, so I think I'm good to go. Is this part of South Africa? Yeah. I guess that's why we have claims. Yeah, we have claims on everything about that is South Africa. Come on. Stack wipe. Siege that one. And that one. I'm not gonna vassalize at all. And I think I'm going to integrate Maravi because of, um, well, soon we will have enough Diplo power. Uh, we should really catch up in tech as well before we integrate. Prospering times, Bagamoyo. Where is Bagamoyo? Here. It's a horrible, terrible, uninteresting province. What do we want? I guess we will... Get some more ivory. Yeah, you of course all around you do. Yeah, we want to vassalize this one so we can vassal feed it without aggressive expansion. Not that it really matters because no one cares about us. 
in this really. Oh, and we have the expansionist trade, so we have 15 extra global settler increase. That is nice. We do have a siege now. Luckily for me, I have an army sitting here. How much gold do we get? We get 19 gold, 20 trade, 20 taxation, 12 production. That's not bad. Check the inflation. Yeah, we need to reduce the inflation. Do we get claims on this part of, of Africa when I do something? Province of the culture, Southern Africa, East Bantu and Great Lakes will not suffer from the penalties of unacceptable culture. Oh, that is nice. Defender of Africa, oof, my goodness. We need a religious unity of 90% to reach this. Oh, God. It looks like we need religious ideas. Otherwise, we cannot complete it. Well, it depends if you do humanists. Then your religious unity goes up, right? And remember, humanist is the most, is the best idea ever because it's only twenty-five percent. That's not gonna enough. That's not gonna be enough. Oh no, that is not gonna be enough. I guess we will stay fetishists and just convert everything to fetishists. Maybe not Catholic. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what to do. The mission tree is telling us to stay to repel the Catholic, the Christians. And then we have free the cults. Hmm. That is really good, actually. We get 25% more manpower. And they need to stay... F yeah, we need to stay fetishists for that mission. So we will go with religious and convert everything to fetishists. I mean, it's, it's, one of, it's a fun religion, right? I really like it. I mean, the mechanics are a bit meh, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm building a spy network, but I cannot claim anything on you yet, because I'm not bordering you. We can get a third claim on Mogadishu before we declare the war. I can also facilize Mogadishu, but... I don't know. I think I'm gonna core. It does not rival anyone. We need five more percent, then we complete uh, the Mani mission. Let's go to speed 4, we're just waiting for the siege, so... How's our manpower doing? We are getting towards the cap, so... Definitely want to go to war again soon. How is this... Okay, so the new coalition map mode, when something is... Orange, then they can join if they are not on the map. If they are not above 50. Then they are not getting a color anymore on the on this map mode. I guess that's a good thing, but I'm not sure. How's the colony going? Slowly. Very good to see. Slower piece. Oh, it's not zooming in there, but that's over here, right? Antemoro. Let's put the army there then, because there will be the revolts. It's the only province. There we go. 
Now, I don't think we have any revolts here anymore, but I will just put them on for now. Uh, we will take a look at that soon. Compensate the traders. We can make the merchants very happy and lose money, or we make them unhappy. Well, they're happy enough, so we make them unhappy. Dahomey wants a marriage. Where are you? I don't even know where this nation is. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> so you're saying we can almost offer Mogadishu a vassalization? Really? Now nah, I'm gonna go for a doll. To wait for this one seat. Do we have a cannon here? No, so we don't have to put them there. Just need to wait. There we go. Are you guys completely stuck? Yes, you are. And that is very bad because when I peace out, you're stuck there. So I will ask for military access. I will bring you guys. Why can you not? Oh, yeah, you cannot go through Marehan. Uh, stay here then. Because when we declare Mogadishu. Marahan will join. We are in our vassal's territory. My new vassal, get your money. Need to wait a couple of days. There we go. You are my... Oh, shoot. I didn't check. He was a dwarf Ethiopia. <sighs> no. Did he just start a dwarf or what? That sucks. Let's uh, try to get my army over there. What's your technology? Eight. I have nine. What is the war goal? Ethiopian crusade against Adal. Really? Well, looks like we can get his cores back. Some of them in this war. Uh, let's first piece out my Lindy here. Thank you. And uh, let's core it. I think I can get there. I will stop the spy network in Bane in. Let's move there. And I will also move this army there, because I think Ethiopia is not having a small army, though. No. We'll even bring these 15,000, but I think I have enough. That's uh, 23, 34,000. Yeah, that's enough. Let's not get ourselves killed. Let's improve with Adal, our new vassal. Stability. Yeah, they do have a lot of troops there. You know what? Let's just bring them over. Um, where are my transports? Here. It's 23,000. More on our way. The attrition is horrible here. And the AI is going to siege this so quickly. It's going to be so annoying. Yeah, move over here. self roof for the Kuba. Gay one stability and we get local autonomy. Uh, sure. Just a little bit, right? I can 
get some more claims on you. Oh, are you gonna make a mistake here by moving away from the province with all your armies? Yes. Can I catch you? Whoa, it takes so long to move there. Really? Now Ethiopia is coming this way. I think he's going to be very annoying. Let's get the cannons over here. Guys. That's a bit risky. Let's just go here. You know what? Let's just bring them here and then combine them together. I can take Diplotech 6. I think there's no reason not to anymore. We need to catch up in technology. This is pretty scary seeing this coming your way. Ooh. It's time for us to discover all of this territory and siege down Ethiopia. I think I can ask for their course, right? Yeah, this won't cost any war score. Yeah, we have to pay Diplo points because we didn't uh, declare the war for this, but... Uh, we can get Adal 5 provinces back. And fairly cheaply. That's nice. Yeah, you can just siege down there, I guess. I mean, I can catch this 5,000. Just discover all of this. Well, we can't, I guess. We need to siege down this fort. We'll put the cannons there when we are done with the other fort. Make Ethiopia lose. Are you going to siege uh, this province? Yeah. Oh, we can do have a good battle here. Let's go over it. That is a stack wipe. Son of God, strangers have recently encountered this bearing with the word of Christ. Uh oh. Whom they claim to be the Son of God. They say he descended from the heavens and walked among us, teaching about love and forgiveness. In the end, he died on a cross for our sins, only to resurrect and ascend to the heavens. They say one day the Savior will come back to earth to grant his followers eternal life, establish the final kingdom of God. Unlock the cult Christianity. Well, first things first, we can seize the Mani power. Now with absolute rule, we need 100 legitimacy. Wait, what? We need 7 subjects. Wow. Now, we can maybe release some small nations for a while. Seven subjects. And we have to do this if we want Africa's hegemon. Which I really want. So we have to get seven subjects. My goodness. That's a weird uh, thing, right? Apparently we had no contact with Europeans yet. Um, so the Mani thing is now over. So we could get more points from the Mani. Let's get the rights of council in again. And we can use strong duchies when we want seven. Meh. 
Meh, meh, meh. I don't like seven subjects. No, not really. But I will do it. Just of the mission's sake. Uh, you guys are done. You are the siege stack, so I will switch out with this army for that one. Uh, we cannot move really that much further. Importing naval supplies. Uh, give me the diplo power. And what is Ethiopia doing? Not much. Just keep stack wiping him in the meantime. Let's try to get that army. Oh, Adal, you're gonna get so much land. Well, not that much, a little bit. I mean, I can also start vassalizing Mogadishu, I guess. Okay, they will accept uh, vassalization, so I, I guess I have to do this now, since we know that that is the thing. Get vassals. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get those vassals then. Let me uh, select the extra uh, relations. We can have six relations without a penalty. Okay, go to the next fort. I could vassalize uh, Enarea and Welia. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, why not? Let's vassalize all these smaller tiny nations. Let's try to vassalize Mogadishu for free. How far are we in a great power status? We are third in the world. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm gonna vassalize whatever I can. Foreigners arrive in Congo. Oh, there we go. This is the moment, guys. People along brown ropes and strange golden crosses arrived at our coastline. They claim to be here to bring us the right path. Mm -hmm. um. Oh. Congo will replace the fetishist with the Catholic mission, so we can get new missions. Or we oppose the Europeans and stay with our own. Now the thing is, we have no religious uh, ideas, right? And we are fully fetishist right now. We are going to get so much problems if we go Catholic without religious ideas. I'm going to stay fetishist this run. Boom. And now we can complete the proper kingdom mission. And what do we get? More institution bread idea, goes goes down and we become a monarchy. We are now a monarchy. Now we need Congolese navy, 10 heavy ships, we get an explorer and navy tradition. That goes into modernized Congo. And we can become an empire very soon, we just need to embrace um, uh, colonization and then we can become an empire already. I really want that. I hope this needs to be updated, otherwise we have a small problem. And we need to click something here. We can become an autocracy or a feudal nobility. We will become an autocracy. That she will rule. Oh, and can we click another one? Yes. Uh, curtail noble privileges, more taxation, less money influence, or... Strengthen for more manpower. Strengthen. We can do exile colonial companies by expelling minorities minus 30%. Now, I can't see that right now because the colony is not done yet. Let's wait for the colony to be done and then we check that out. Uh, convert to Islam. What?
Uh, no. Not gonna happen. I will click the next government reform in the next episode, guys. We have to end it here. Otherwise the videos get too long. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the sound is not too bad from the microphone. And hopefully it's not uh, cut it out in the, in the middle of the video. I hope it uh, is okay. Um, thanks for watching. In the next one we will take land from Adal. We will vassalize some nations here. Mogadishu. And then we are good to go for a mission tree. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.